Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. Problem is binary tree maximum path sum. Very easy problem. In this problem, we have to find a path in the binary tree, and uh, so each node can only appear at most once. Path does not need to pass through the root, so it's not necessary that the path should be passing through the root. The path sum. Of a path is the sum of all the node values in that path. So whatever path is, uh, all the values, or sum of all the values in that uh, of nodes in that path will be the path sum. So we have to we have we are given the root of the binary tree and we need to find the maximum path sum of non-empty path. Maximum path sum. So uh, let's take this test case here. Uh, basically, what we have to find is we have to find the path sum. what is path sum basically this can be one path okay or this could be one path like from here to here like this so path sum is the sum of sum of all nodes which are in their all nodes which is in that path so for example if we take this blue path 9 minus 10 plus 20 plus 7 this will be the sum of this path okay if you take the path of this yellow uh, this yellow uh, uh, path, uh, sum of this yellow path so it will be 15 plus 20 plus 7 which is 42 and this will be uh, 26 okay so obviously we have to find the maximum path sum we have to find the maximum path sum so here the maximum path sum will be 42 that is this path so output will be 42 okay it will be 42 so basically what they are trying to say is we have to find any path and it's not uh, it's not mandatory that the path should pass from root path should not uh, like it's not mandatory so he path could be this one also it's not like it has to pass through the root this is the root right okay so either your so there are two cases either your uh, path can pass through root through root or it does not pass does not pass okay so pause the video and try to think uh, how you can solve this problem see the problem understand it and see what is given so minus 10 trees binary tree minus 10 9 20 15 and 7 right 20 15 and 7 so whenever we have t right we visualize it like this that we visualize it like we will be given the root of the binary tree and uh, we have some left subtree we have some right subtree we will work on the root and the rest of the work recursion will do right so here what is the thing we have to return the maximum path sum we have to return the maximum path sum this is a work so one thing is that the path can pass through the root like this right so if the path is passing through the root so what will be the sum that case sum of the path will be whatever the sum of left subtree left subtree plus sum of the right subtree plus sum of root that is root value so this could be one sum other sum could be like uh, the sum is not passing through the this uh, like the sum is not passing through the root so if sum is not passing through the root this could be the maximum sum left subtree or right sub uh, somewhere in the left subtree or somewhere in the right subtree you will get the maximum path sum so there are two cases right so what we will do right base case is we all know what will be the base case base case is if root is null if root is null so what will be the sum if root is null sum will be what zero so return zero this is your base case base case okay now let's say we are here we are at this position 
our root is here so there are two things there are two things one can be this is your sum this is your maximum path sum like passing from this value right something like this so if this is the case when you are here so what you will do 20 plus whatever is coming from the left subtree whatever is coming from the right subtree this will be your sum this could be one case right other case could be that you have to pass the ma maximum sum from this node to the parent node because it might happen that from this path you get the this is a part of that path right for example let's say from here to here something like this from here to 20 so which is more beneficial from this 20 either you go to 15 or you go to 7 so obviously 15 one is more beneficial so it might happen this is the path right so to this minus 10 what you should return to this minus 10 you should return the most optimal sum right most optimal path sum which is 20 what is the current value root plus maximum which you are getting from left or right subtree what is the maximum you are getting from the left or right subtree that is maximum of whatever you are going, getting from left and whatever you are going, getting from right subtree that this value you will return to the parent node because minus 10 should know right whatever what is the maximum path sum maximum sum in its like subtree child subtree so we'll have two cases right let me draw three again so minus 10 9 20 15 and 7 right you will have a global variable sum initialized to 0 when you are let's say uh, you are at this node right this is your root so first you go to the left you make the recall left you go to right first of all you go to left subtree dfs basic basic dfs we have basic dfs you go to left you are your root is here right now okay not here so you, your root is here from left you get zero base case from right you get zero so nine plus if the path is like this only so nine plus zero plus zero will be nine so this is greater than sum nine and to the parent root parent uh, uh, node you will return 9 plus what is whatever is the maximum of left or right because one path will be there right if you either left path will be there or right path will be there both cannot be there obviously because if both is there then it will be something like this right so whatever is the maximum so 9 plus maximum of left is 0 right is also 0 so it will be 9 plus 0 which is 9 so 9 will be returned from here okay so from here 9 will be returned to the parent node 9 is returned okay now you are here now you will make the right call it will go to right so 20 here root will be 20 okay so first you go to left 15 plus 0 and all that so 15 will be the sum then you go to the right you go here root will become 7 so 7 is not greater than 15 so it will not be updated but from here you will get 15 as ret return value and from here you will get 7 okay so now your root is here you from here you get 15 from here you get 7 now see what you will do now there are two cases either your path could be this one that is this passing from this root like basically this path okay so 15 whatever you get from the sum is equal to will be maximum of the whatever the current sum is comma the current root value plus whatever you get from the left subtree left subtree plus whatever you get from the right subtree because that could be one path right so here maximum of current sum is what 15 
comma root value is 20 plus left you are getting 15 right you are getting 7 so here your sum will become 42 here it will get 42 okay so here we have done this root work now we have to return now what we will return from to the parent node now there can be two cases either this could be the maximum path for this parent like it can go from 10 to 20 and 15 like this or it can go to minus 10 20 and 7 like this so obviously you will return the beneficial one which whatever is beneficial so that would be you will return what you will return to the parent node you will return root value plus maximum of whatever you get from the left and right whatever is maximum so 15 and 7 you are getting from left subtree and right subtree so 15 is greater so 20 plus 15 that is 35 you will return that maximum if you go from minus 10 you want to go you, this will you will get the max path so from minus 10 minus 10 plus uh, 9 you are getting from here 35 you are getting from the right subtree either this could be the sum right maximum but this will give you um, 34 right this is not the optimal one so 42 is the maximum which you can get so output will be 42 so i hope you understood the approach uh, let's see the code once it will become more clear dry run the code once yourself so we have taken this global variable in initialize it with minimum value because we'll be storing the maximum value inside it then we have we are calling this function dfs and we'll return this maximum sum in this dfs we will populate this value so this is a base case that if root is null just return zero otherwise you are making the left call you get some and you'll be storing the back like the maximum value if you get negative from here so guys see if any time you're getting negative value there is no benefit uh, benefit of considering that right because negative will only reduce your sum so but we want maximum sum right so if it we are getting negative we will just get take zero only we will not go that path only for example let's say this is your root this is your root and this is your left subtree this is your right subtree from this left subtree you are getting some negative sum so there is no there is no benefit of considering this negative path just take this only because negative will only reduce your sum value we want to maximum sum okay so zero taking zero here means that we will not consider this only we will not take, consider this only right also same thing now the sum could be the root value plus whatever you get from left whatever you get from right this is what we were doing doing here right whatever you get from the uh, root value plus whatever you get from the left whatever you get from the right maximum sum get the maximum sum and when you are returning so return the root value plus maximum of left and right because you have to give to the parent so whatever is the maximum sum in the subtree child subtree give that right so i hope you understood the problem uh, o of n is the time complexity we are uh, doing a single traversal okay and yeah if you found the video helpful please like the video subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts let me know in the comments and thanks for watching bye